Welcome everybody, my name is Anthony James, founder and CEO of linuxacademy.com and cloudassessments.com. And today we're joined by Aaron Fagan, who has gotten all five AWS certifications. And it was really kind of a great story. I'd love to just dive into it and start talking about it, but let's start off and, and Aaron, tell us a little bit about yourself. Sure, uh, yeah, my name is Aaron Fagan. I'm a senior cloud infrastructure architect with Amazon Web Services. Um, I've been using uh, Linux Academy for, gosh, it must be about nine months now. And uh, uh, I've watched over 700 videos. Oh, so, that's um, fantastic. Yeah. So that, that's great. And you know, amazingly, uh, not amazingly enough, but a, a, really not amazingly enough, it is pretty cool. We are using Amazon Chime's new chat service they just released to do this podcast. So we're video chatting on there. So it's actually a pretty cool opportunity for us to download it and work with it. And so, uh, you know, just a quick plug for that. I assume you like the tool. Oh yeah, it's great. Uh, I think it's really easy to use and um, a, lot of, a lot of great uh, chat and video features. Um, so we're, we're happy to add that to the uh, additional services. Yeah, it's very, it's very cool. So what we do is we're going to go ahead and jump in and I'm going to ask you just a few questions. Uh, as it relates to the AWS certification. So why don't you just tell us a, a little bit about your journey when it, you, you, it looks like you did it kind of in two phases. I think you went and did the AWS trifecta and then got a job offer somewhere and then ended up doing the other two. So why don't you just tell us a little bit about your story uh, maybe, and we'll go from there and we'll just ask you a few questions. Yeah, you got it. Um, so I, I was uh, starting to use AWS a little bit in uh, the position that I had. And I really wanted to uh, learn quite a bit more about the services. I'm a big fan of um, IT certifications in general. I had a number of other certifications and in, in other technologies. And I really, um, I like them because they demonstrate to your employer a certain level of competency, but also they give you a, a more holistic view, uh, a more complete view of the services and technologies that, uh, that you're using. So. Really, I, I um, started the training. Uh, I was recommended uh, to try Linux Academy at uh, another training that I was at. So took the free trial and, uh, and got started. Um, so I earned uh, the first three associate level certifications for AWS using Linux Academy as my, my primary uh, studying source. Um, and uh, I was able to do that in three months got a job offer, and uh, and then after I accepted that uh, position, I, I got my last two, uh, the professional level certifications, um, and uh, and did that using Linux Academy as well. It's a lot of great content. So when, and your kind of pre-questions that we sent over to you, one thing I found interesting is kind of when you studied, uh, it, it seemed like you have almost, a, you had almost a three hour commute during the day. Tell us a little bit about this. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So um, actually, that position that I was in, uh, I was living in Connecticut and uh, and commuting to Boston every day. So I would drive about 100 miles each way. Um, yeah. So so it was about three hours each way. Oh, each so way. What I did so you, was, you yeah. traveled six hours a day. Yeah, yeah. It could be up up to six hours. Yeah. Oh. So, so what I did was um, I, I took advantage of the uh, Lynx Academy iOS app. And so I would listen to those through my car stereo. And then uh, when I would park, you know, either, uh, when I got to work or when I, I uh, got home, I'd record all my notes. And so that was a great way to use time that, you know, otherwise would have been wasted. Um, and uh, yeah, it was really a huge help. You know, that's, that's just a great story. Cause a lot of times when it comes, especially like, you know, it seems like the, the standard now is almost the five certifications, not to mention the specialty certifications but it almost just seems overwhelming for somebody to get started. So that story about, you know, just utilizing that additional time you had while driving in order to study, that's just amazing. And I, I think it's a great starting point for a lot of people who just seem like, or feel like maybe the five is just so overwhelming. So, you know, let's say that there's a student out there that just wants to get started. You know, it could be another professional, it could be somebody who's a student, but it just seems overwhelming and they just don't know where to start. Where would you tell them to start and what kind of advice would you give them? Yeah, so so I would start with the uh, Solutions Architect Associate exam and the preparation for that, because that really, it, it, that covers the, the, the most fundamental services for AWS. And uh, 
the Linux Academy training, I mean, there's a free trial. Go out and try it and, and, and see if that is going to be uh, a great way for you to, to learn how to study. So you're going to get the fundamentals. You're going to get the, the core services. You're going to be able to consume that, you know, whether it be a video, whether it be, um, you know, quizzes. You're going to have live labs um, that, are, that are part of the training. You're going to have your own. Uh, servers that you can spin up and, and try things on your own. And I mean, there's just so many different ways for you to get not only the the content, um, because you can you can read that online, um, but to be to be able to get uh, the hands on experience is invaluable. And I, I just think that, you know, for anyone who is new uh, to AWS or, or frankly, any of the the other um, technologies that are on linuxacademy.com, to be able to get in there and dig in and follow along with an instructor and, and be able to try things on your own um, is, is just uh, it's really helpful. And I, I think that the, the barrier to entry is, is really low. Hey, I, I appreciate those kind words. And obviously, I appreciate the plug in, uh, in, in terms of telling students how to get started. And really, you know, it, it's just that you'd probably agree that the best thing that you could do at any point in time is just to get started, right? So, you know, one, one of my favorite quotes, and I have it here in the wall, is in, in any moment of decision, the best thing you can do is the right thing. The next best thing you can do is the wrong thing. And the worst thing you can do is nothing. And sure, that might go into different situations, but I like to look at that and say, well, it might seem overwhelming, but the worst thing you can do is not get started. Whether you just create an account, whether you sign up on Linux Academy, whether you go to cloud assessments, the worst thing that you can do is just not get started. What would you say is your, probably the, the biggest challenge you had when preparing for the AWS certifications that you had to overcome? Yeah, I think the toughest thing uh, was to find a good content source. Um, so, so like I said, I mean, I've, I've earned a lot of IT certifications over the years for a number of different technologies. Um, when I first started out, you know, I'd get the the official uh, certification book, and then I would read that, and and I'd know going in, this is the official certification book from from the vendor, and um, it's going to cover what I need. These days, you know, there, there's a lot of content out there, you know, purporting to be certification prep materials. And I've tried a lot of them and, and, and they're of varying quality. Um, I would really encourage people to, to try Linux Academy because there is, there is a free trial. There's really no reason not to. And, uh, you know, the, the quality of the content, uh, the rate that it gets updated, that's one of the things that really uh, struck me and I talked to my friends and colleagues about it is, you can you can see that the content gets updated if you're familiar with uh, AWS or or any of the other services they they update very rapidly and you can see that reflected in the content because uh, you know those changes are, are rolled in the limits and um, you know the features and whatnot um, you're not going to get that at a lot of the a lot of the uh, computer based training uh, vendors out there. So uh, that that would be that would be my primary challenge was uh, to find just a, a really solid source of content that I could rely on. Aaron, I, I appreciate that. And for those out there watching, I promise you, this is not a planted question. It, he <laughs> is just speaking out of there. It's it's very flattering, and and I, I really appreciate you saying that, and and it means even more that you mean it. So thank you so much. So. Uh, I have a few other questions here, and kind of what I want to do is shift a little bit away from the AWS certifications and talk about, um, in terms of people looking to do this in their career, right? AWS is a cloud platform, right? So there's different things you can do on it, but depending on the type of job you want to get, there could be other technologies that people should learn. So let's say that there's somebody that says, hey, I want to get into AWS, or I'm in this position at my job and I want to get into uh, working as a cloud architect. What type of advice in terms of training and other certifications or other training uh, in terms of tools would you give those uh, fellow colleagues or students? Yeah, so so I can speak, uh, you know, to um, the DevOps um, culture and and some of the tool sets that um, that are included in there. And there's a variety of uh, those offerings on Linux Academy I've taken advantage of. Um, I, I really wasn't uh, 
too well versed in a number of those things. Uh, I, I think one of the first things I was looking for was a, a course on Terraform, and I posted that in the uh, in the community. And sure enough, um, a couple of months later, there's a Terraform course. How many times uh, did you post it? Because I feel like it was a lot. I think maybe it was just a lot of students. Did you just post it one time? Oh, I, I posted one time, but okay. there there were a lot of um, I think there were a lot of comments on there, and, was, and and people were looking for it. Like the the most plus one thread ever, I think, is what happened. Oh. There. <laughs> wow, that's I didn't know that, but yeah. but it's great. I mean, I, so so you know things like Terraform, Jenkins, Git, you know those DevOps tool sets that are so fundamental. You know, getting that content, you know, you can you can round out your your uh, DevOps skill set, uh, no matter what uh, cloud provider or, or on-prem uh, you, you plan on using, you can get that there. Uh, you know, bash scripting with with uh, the Linux uh, trainings that are on there, um, really valuable. I've taken advantage of a, a number of those courses and uh, it's been really helpful. Actually, I, I started the, uh, not too long ago, I started the, the new Jenkins uh, certification uh, course. Did so you? I'm really looking forward to get into that. I did, yeah. Awesome. I'm going to be excited to hear what you think. It's a, it's brand new. Uh, well, at least for us, the certification's not quite brand new, but it's relatively new. So I'm excited to celebrate in that success for you. You'll have to let us know. We'll have to bring you on to talk a little bit about it uh, to see what yeah. your experience was for that. Actually, that reminds me. I, I also um, I took the uh, uh, Chef Basic Fluency uh, badge, and I did I did pass that exam. Did so you? that was uh, that was really helpful. Yep. Congratulations. Thanks. Congratulations, and a, and a really cool fact. We've actually partnered with Chef to offer the Chef Fluency Badge exam for free on Linux Academy Community Edition, right? And so if you don't know, the Chef or Certified Chef Developer Certification is three badges. You have your Chef Basic Fluency Badge, then you have your Local Cookbook Development Badge, which we just released a course for on that, and then you have your Extending Chef Badge, which is all really, really cool. So uh, feel free to check that out. So. Aaron, I know that you have participated in hiring other people. Um, you've, you've obviously re have job interviews and worked in the IT industry. I know a lot of our students, you know, maybe not professionals in the area, but a lot of students that are looking to get in to these types of jobs. What type of advice would you say uh, for an interview? What would you say is a good quality? Um, what, what, do you, what would you look for in a candidate would probably be a better way of asking that question. Sure. I, I think, um, and this would apply to, I, I think, not just uh, jobs in IT, but uh, into a lot of professions. You know, the best predictor of future behavior is past behavior. So the, the more you can bring concrete examples and stories that demonstrate your values, your, your um, problem solving ability, um, I, I think the more that demonstrates to the interviewer that you're going to be able to perform in that way in the future, right? So it's, anyone can come in and say, oh yeah, I'm a Jenkins expert or I, you know, I'm a, I'm a, a, a Git expert and um, I can code in Python and all of these things. But, but tell me about a use case. Tell me about a situation where, uh, you know, you were with uh, a team and you had a problem and you solved it and, and, you know, how you work together. So I think, the more you can bring those concrete examples uh, to interviews, um, the the more likely you'll be to convey your value. I, I think that's great advice. And if there's one thing I'd tack on there, I'd probably also say that interviewees or interviewers, however you want to say it, uh, are, are really looking for that honesty component as well, right? So when have you had to do this? And a lot of times they're looking for that, this was totally screwed up. We messed up and we had to go in and do this. They're looking for honesty. They're looking at how you troubleshooted and how you worked as a team in order to solve the problem. So all of those things are super important. So Aaron, I really appreciate that advice. That's all we have here. Um, thank you for coming on and, and really trying to help encourage others work towards the one certifications and two kind of provide information and advice on breaking into really the cloud architecture and IT world. So I really appreciate you coming on and I look forward to celebrating in your success and talking to you a little bit more about your Jenkins certification experience that you're going through at the Linux Academy. Great. Well, Anthony, thank you so much. Uh, thank you for Linux Academy and cloud assessments. Um, I'm such a big fan and uh, I wish you the best of luck and, and I look forward to all the content yet to come. Great. I appreciate it so much. Thanks, Aaron. Thanks. Thanks.